there J champs well today i am here to share with you the most important do's and don'ts that you must follow in your J preparation journey let's start with the do's number 1 do smart work and not just hard work remember your preparation strategy should not be emotion driven it should be practical logical and output driven so prioritize investing time in the high weightage chapters as well as those topics which demand lesser input from your end but reward you with great output number 2 make a timetable you know a well planned very organized detailed study schedule will not just get the work done it will also keep you disciplined consistent and focused and a fact is that when motivation fails discipline is what keeps you going third is very important pyqs you know a lot of students keep studying the theory they keep practicing the solved examples endlessly but you know what i'll share with you a pearl of wisdom don't be penny wise and pound foolish that means do not give up larger profit in exchange of small temporary gains see solved examples they do help definitely i agree but only initially your actual preparation starts when you spend time with the pyqs that is true gold number 4 is mock test to measure how much you've progressed and to evaluate your weak areas one mock test a week is a must it will help you build your stamina it will teach you time management it will teach you temperament management it will make you aware of the exam pattern and the type of questions asked which will help you come up with a personalized strategy to maximize your marks in the paper number 5 is revision which is a game changer Remember people it's not important how much you eat what's important is how much of that can you digest make sure every single day you devote at least 2 to 3 hours for the revision of older topics that you have already completed and the best way to revise is by quizzing yourself through questions or by taking a test number 6 is mind map oh my god this works wonders When you are done with a particular chapter, just write it down in a short and sweet, summarized manner in a single sheet of paper. This helps in convenient revision and also helps in longer retention. Number seven is flashcards or cheat sheets. I have spoken about this multiple, multiple number of times, and I cannot stress upon this enough. Whenever you come across any important formula or result or any shortcut or trick. stop right there and note it down in a flash card you can even use the stick on pads that you get in the market they contain very tiny beautiful colored sheets of paper which you can stick on the wall just keep these flash cards handy trust me it'll make your life super duper simple last but a very impactful one is take care of your head space whenever you feel exhausted or tired after a long sitting get up and take a break you can choose to take small naps in it or you can go out in the park and walk or you can play some game or you can just listen to music the idea is to recharge yourself and to energize yourself for the next sitting also remember people a healthy mind resides in a healthy body so make sure you eat right you eat healthy and you also sleep enough do not worry people your honest hard work will definitely pay off just promise yourself to always talk positive with yourself throughout the preparation journey with that it's time to dive into the don'ts let's start with the first one it is do not overload study at max two different subjects in a single day otherwise it will lead to a lot of confusion in your head and will eventually reduce the effective output number 2 is do not fall in the trap of long sitting hours at a stretch you can choose to use the pomodoro technique sit for 25 to 30 minutes for an undisturbed focused study session and then take a 5 to 10 minute break slowly gradually as you build the momentum you can keep increasing the length of your pomodoros this is a scientific technique guys which helps to bring out your most productive version Number 3 do not keep your phone or any distracting gadget on your study table while studying because it will only and only lead to unnecessary brain drain and will hamper your focus drastically. Number 4 is do not study in a cluttered environment. You know when the place around you is messy 
your mind automatically becomes unclear and disorganized. So your study area, your study space, keep it sacred and keep it clean. Number five is do not bang your head over multiple resources and multiple books. After referring to your own study notes or your class notes, your session notes, you can refer to any one good quality book for practice and solve it thoroughly. After this, you have a huge bank of PYQs already with you, which are highly promising and a must do. Number six, very important, it is don't be shy or afraid of asking doubts. See people, it is your dream and it is important to you. So no matter how silly you feel your doubt is, just ask it out, clear it out and get done with it. Simple. Because if you don't, what will happen over the long run is there'll be a huge pile of them created. And that will only make you anxious. It will lower your confidence, it will lower your performance and will make you hopeless. And the truth is, in that situation, nobody will be able to help you. Next up is, do not wait for syllabus completion to sit for the mock. This is so, so common among students. And if you have the same mindset, let me tell you, it's not a mistake, it's not a blunder, it's a crime. Yes, you heard me right. It's just like you're trying to escape from the truth, which is of no use. It is plain immaturity. So no matter how much syllabus you've completed, be mature enough to sit for mock tests on a regular basis because that only will reveal the true picture of where you exactly stand and accordingly, you can tweak your plan further. Next point is do not compare. Not all fingers are the same, right? Similarly, not everybody's journey is the same. So focus on comparing yourself with your own self rather than somebody else and dedicate towards becoming better and better every single day. Last point is do not overthink. You know, overthinking only and only invites anxiety, it delays action, it hampers your mental health and all of this implies that the work done is zero. So take charge of your thoughts and whenever you feel you are daydreaming or wandering somewhere in your thoughts or you are overthinking or stressing about something which is not in your control, just consciously count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It will immediately bring you in the present and then you can get back to the task at hand. This was all about the do's and don'ts people. I hope it was useful. If yes, press the like button and also subscribe the channel for more. Goodbye and take care.